So tell me a story that really touched you, that really moved you to pay it forward. Well, I was a young man. I was running Columbia Pictures, and I was, I think, 28 or 29, way back. And um, I'd gone to Jack Warner's house for dinner. Jack Warner's the founder of Warner Brothers. You know, now we have titled inflation. His empress, his emperor, <laughs> holy pumba. You know, then it was just, you know, owner. And he was the owner of Warner Brothers. And I went to his house and had a dinner with it. was uh, Fred Astaire was there, and uh, uh, Cary Grant was there, and Gregory Peck was there, and uh, Jimmy Stewart was there, and I was like a, f a fly on the wall. I, I was waiting for the fraud police to come and haul me away. You know, it was like they were all sharing stories. I was doing a movie with Jack. And um, at the end of the dinner, he said, well, tell me, what's, how's your life, kiddo, around that studio as a kid? Well, how was it? I said, Mr. Warner, because I was going to call him Jack. I would be thrown out of the house. Mr. Warner, I said, I come out of that office every night I'm freaked out of my mind, all the stuff that's bombarded me. These people, they come in one after the other, and I'm just bombarded by all my own executives. And he said, let me tell you a story. Just like that, he said. This is the guy I found at Warner Brothers. He said, every single person that comes, you're the head of that studio, every single person that comes in that room, they're coming in with a monkey. I said, a monkey? Yep, yeah, the monkey. They come in the room, they have a whole thing, they'll talk to you, be friendly, and then finally they'll show the monkey, and that's the problem. They have a problem, and they're thinking, I'm going to leave the monkey with you. You don't realize they have a monkey, you don't realize it's a problem, and suddenly they leave, and of course at the end of the day, you got 10,000 monkeys jumping around a monkey crap all over the floor. Here's your job. When they come in, you keep your eye out for that monkey. You know it's there. You wait till they show it. If they don't show, you keep looking, they'll get the monkey. Your job is grab that monkey by the hand, grab him by the other hand, put the hands together, and walk them out the door and tell them bring them back trained. That changed my life. It changed my life. I realized everybody walked in a room with a purpose. They didn't come there to do it. They came in with a problem. They wanted to leave it with me. It changed the way I dealt with people. It realized I wasn't mad at them, but I knew my job was to send them home with a problem and have them come back with a solution. And I paid that story forward to my executives and other people. It paid enormous dividends. <laughs>